I'm calling this my glow up season. So about a year ago, I decided I was ready to finally dive back into my fitness and nutrition routines after I had my son and a big surgery. So I followed my move program and hot body meal plan. And this is what I look like five pounds and 12 months later. But if I'm being honest, it was pretty easy for me to get back here. And I kind of feel like I've hit a plateau. So I wanted to challenge myself to get in the best shape of my life before the new year. And today I'm on day one of my 30 day fat loss booty gains glow up. It's honestly been years since I've really push myself outside of my comfort zone. And I know glow ups are all about doing things you've never done before. I am so ready for this. I feel my best when I feel confident and confidence comes from keeping your promises to yourself. So I'm excited to take you along on this journey with me to help hold myself accountable and to show you exactly what I'm eating and how I'm training in case you're on a similar journey or you just need a little inspo to start. And the reason why I wanted to share this journey with you guys and why I really just wanted to start it in general is because even though I've made a lot of progress over the last year, and like my body's changed kind of back to like pre-pregnancy Katie, it was pretty easy and comfortable for me to ease back into that routine. I had been doing the same thing for years and years and years. It's like when you were, you know how to ride a bike, right? And I know that it's when we're uncomfortable that we grow the most. And I just have felt a little stagnant and needed something just to push me that extra mile. So like before getting pregnant, I intentionally gained probably five or eight pounds kind of in that range because of my hypo. The doctors had told me I would struggle with getting pregnant. And as women, we need more body fat on our bodies, a healthy amount, but we need a little more to have healthy pregnancies. So I did that. And now I've kind of managed to get back to like my old baseline, but I want to set a new baseline for myself. I want to push myself and see how far I can take my body in a way that I just have never done. So I'm going to focus on losing body fat. More importantly, really focus on muscle gain, especially in my glutes to really create a new shape that I just haven't tried before. So in this video, I want to show you my entire plan, what I eat in a day and what my workouts are going to look like to help me lose body fat, get more toned and really grow my glutes in 30 days. So if you like videos like this, make sure you sweat the thumbs up. That just means give it a little click and make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be sharing this journey, giving you updates along the entire process over the next 30 days. And I also do weekly giveaways for my subscribers. So it's just a little bonus. That I'll be healing now. So for the past week, I've been waking up at 5 a.m., getting dressed, doing my makeup, and preparing for the day. And I don't like waking up at 5 a.m. I'm not like an early, early morning person by nature, but I've noticed I am way more productive. And honestly, if you're not gonna show up prepared, why show up at all? So I've really tried to take that mentality into my day. I started a little bit early just so I could get used to it before actually diving into these next 30 days. But that is one of the habits I'm taking into this glow up. It doesn't have to be 5 a.m. for you, but try to wake up even 30 minutes earlier than normal to get yourself ready so you can actually just like step into your day feeling fully ready. Ryan has been on this crazy, amazing fitness journey for the last almost year. Like he literally started September 1st of last year and he really has inspired me. And it's wild because back when I like first started my 45 pound weight loss journey, I had started kind of like lightly before I met him, but he met me at my heaviest. And it was his inspiration and support that really helped give me that drive and passion to like go after it and stick to it. He's just such a like focused person like that. So it's been really fun. Like I've watched him and now like on the tables in turn because then I inspired him and now here we are. For my meal planning for this, I'm essentially following my hot body meal plan again. That's like my standard always, but it's actually pretty like complicated to be able to significantly gain muscle and lose fat in a meaningful way simultaneously. Right now, because I want to grow my glutes, like I just, not like I need them so big. I just really want to focus on shaping them and that's going to take gaining some muscle. But the more muscle you have, the more fat you burn, which just makes it nice. So you'll be burning more. Following the hot body meal plan, I'm gonna just up my protein to about 140 grams of protein a day. So in the meal plan, it's more like 120. That just is really like an extra scoop of protein in my day for me or a little extra meat. Knowing like where my meals go based on the meal plan is gonna really help just guide my ability to build that muscle and lose actual fat, not just weight. I thought I would have moved on But somehow the feeling's still strong Like I'll be on my way out So the one thing I'm being really mindful of during this glow up challenge is the timing of when I eat my meals. So normally I just kind of go through the rhythm of the day when I'm hungry, I have my snacks or I have my lunch or whatever. But especially with like glow, 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 glow,
glute growth. I want to make sure that I'm getting plenty of carbs about 30 minutes prior to my workout and then after my workouts to refuel. So I'm going to drink this, then I'm going to change and do my like before photos and everything, and then I'll get into my workout. So just think about that. If you will have specific goals, if you're trying to lose fat, caloric intake is number one. So that's why I'm following the hot body meal plan to make sure I'm like within the right caloric range. And then if you're trying to also grow muscle, you have to make sure you're getting plenty of protein, which is in the plan. But then also think about the timing because it will make a difference, especially with the muscle growth. I am going to be tracking my weight, which I haven't really done consistently for a long time. This is about more than just growing my booty or losing weight. It is about actually being consistent while pushing myself in a way I never have before. So to hold myself accountable, I'm going to take photos. I'm going to take some video and I normally do this in workout clothes, but I'm going for a black bikini since I am focused on what I can do for muscle growth. I want to be able to like really see everything as good and clearly as possible. Okay. And look, I know it can be so intimidating to take photos in tight or like minimal clothing, especially if you are dealing with a lot of excess fat or you're just like not happy with your body as it is right now, but it is the best thing you can do. You don't have to show them to anyone, but you need those for yourself because when you create progress, you create change and you look back, the number on the scale doesn't matter at all. What happens happens in that physical body recomposition to be able to see it in a photo is unlike anything else. I'm so happy I have those photos from my original, original weight loss journey because I don't ever want to go back to the place I was at mentally or physically. And it's a great reminder and it reminds me how far I've come. So take the photos. Okay, so creatine is something I started adding into kind of like my pre-workout drink, but I've been loving doing a little wing woman in here and a scoop of creatine. So just like five milligrams of creatine. The thing with creatine, especially if you're on a journey like I am trying to lose fat, but also build and maintain muscle, which is so important. Creatine is going to actually help with that muscle. It's going to help your muscles get energy throughout your entire workout as you're strength training. There's a lot of new research about it too, and it's benefits for recovery for muscle growth. So it was one of those things that I was always like, Ooh, I don't know. It sounds really like manly gym bulking, but that's not what it is at all. It's just an incredible supplement to help with that muscle. So I like to sip a little bit before I work out and then drink it kind of throughout my workout like just swap out my water for this. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm doing my weekly structure now for like what I'm trying to get to. And part of that is adding in an extra leg day to my move workout. So I'm gonna show you how I do that in the app and what it looks like. So I'm going to be following my move programming in the advanced level. And the way that it works in here is there's three days of strength, three days of cardio. Saturdays is technically abs and cardio together. So in order to really focus on glute growth, I'm going to be doing a couple of things. One, like I said, I'm going to add an additional strength day specifically for leg and booty. So I have my leg and booty on Monday. I'm also going to do it on Thursday instead of my cardio. So then I'll just do cardio on Saturday. Um, and I do like a walk on Sunday. So I'm going to swap one of my cardio days for an additional leg and booty day. I'm going to do the exact same workout, but I'm going to do them differently. So one day I'm going to be doing it a little bit with like more moderate weight, still progressive overload. Cause that is the key to building muscle on the second day for leg and booty. I'm going to focus on really increasing my weight. So I'm going to drop my reps down, but take my weight up. So you can see like all the moves are in here each day. And then I'm going to modify as needed to make sure that I'm able to really target my glutes. As I pick up my weights, really emphasize the glute. So instead of going all the way down, I'm going to go kind of like mid shin and just hinge slightly up, not even all the way up, just enough to keep it in a shorter range to really target my glutes. legs are shaking. That's the other thing. Slow, slow, slow. And when I think I'm going slow, I'm trying to catch myself and go even slower as I lower and then I can drive up. I was able to do the whole amount, which means next round, I'm going to pick up a heavier weight. This is 25 pounds. catch my 
your breath. <laughs> I think one of the things that I've realized is, especially with going so much heavier, more intense, one, recovery is gonna be so, so important. Longer rests in between sets, so I'm gonna be mindful of that. The other thing, as I was doing this, I kinda got this like, Spark. And it's so crazy because I like was like I've never really pushed myself to such an extreme as like giving myself the challenge of these 30 days that I have and I'm gonna share the whole list of like details of what's happening in a couple of minutes but I think the only time I feel like I made myself really uncomfortable while still being healthy obviously doing it in a healthy way was when I was pregnant because it would have been so easy to just stop working out or just be like oh I just need to walk take it easy but like I was doing dumbbells, heavy 25 pound single leg deadlifts and working out hardcore and pushing myself because all the research shows the benefits for an easier delivery, easier recovery, benefits for baby, motor skills, cognitive function, there's so much. So I was like, I had a big why. I knew exactly why I was doing what I was doing. I've just realized like the last two years, I just needed that time to really like ease back in. But like, I'm ready, like I'm just so ready. Like this is already feeling so good and we're only halfway through day one, but like, I just need this. I don't know if that makes sense for you guys, but like I just, it's kind of like the feeling when I first started my weight loss journey. Like I just got to a point where it's like, nope, I need something more. I need something different, things gotta change. And so here we are. I need to finish this workout <laughs> and I'll show you guys what I eat after workouts. This is so good. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Whenever I set out to do anything new, I always have to have like a really clear, and everyone should have this clear why. Like beyond just, oh, I want to see my booty grow or I want to lose a few pounds. And I always need to have like my macro goals and micro goals. So I have all those, I wrote down a very messy version of my micro goals, basically all the little habits that I'm gonna be doing for the next 30 days. Some of these are things I kind of already do consistently. Some are ones I do once in a while and I'm like locked in to make it stick this time. So I'm gonna rewrite these and show you guys exactly what it looks like. Okay, here it is. For my body, wake up at 5 a.m. every day. And I'm gonna add that extra leg and booty day in the move apps. Then I'm gonna do 30 minutes of cardio every day, cold plunge three to four times a week, sauna three to four times a week. My nutrition, 140 grams of protein a day. I could inch up toward 150, but I'm gonna hit that 140 mark for sure. Tracking it, which I haven't done in a long time. Just following the Hoppity Meal Plan, we're there. Um, and that's, that's the next one. So follow Hoppity Meal Plan week one. No wine, period and then no weekday drinks. And then for my mind, soul, spirit, everything, reading my Bible and devotional every morning, no phone until after 8 a.m., and weekly accountability check-in. So I have some accountability partners, I have Ryan, I'm gonna have you guys, and I'm gonna be sharing this journey probably most days here on YouTube, but definitely every single week giving you more thorough check-ins too. And at the end, when I accomplish it, not if, when, I'm going to buy myself a nice pair of sunglasses. I love really expensive sunglasses, but I never buy them for myself. Ryan will buy them for like a special occasion. I just can't usually like spend the money, but I love them and I've had my eye on a pair. So when I finish this, I'm gonna finally just pull the trigger and do it. We just finished Luke's whole night routine, quickly made dinner, just kind of mixed up some stuff I had already meal prepped, but I'm starving. And that's the thing, like when you start increasing the intensity of your workouts and you're eating, your metabolism's like working, you're gonna get hungry. And especially if you're trying to lose fat, if you're following the meal plan, if you're doing the workouts and move, like you're gonna notice that hunger. And that's a good thing, because a lot of times as women, we've cut our calories so low and done like crazy yo-yo diets for so long that we don't even have those hunger cues anymore. We have cravings, it's different. So it's good to actually recognize when your body's like, I need fuel because that teaches you that like food is fuel so that you'll give it what it needs, get those proteins, carbs, and everything to just help recover and feel good. This hurts so bad. 
It's 9.57, little nuggy. My goal is to be in bed by 10, so I just finished my skincare routine. I'm gonna hop in bed, lights out, and just let this body rest and recover. I'm gonna be taking my active rest day the day after my heavy leg, so that's tomorrow. But make sure you guys are subscribed, like this video, and turn on notifications, because I'm gonna be sharing this whole journey with you. And if you wanna do it alongside with me or your own version of it, comment down below and let me know what your goal is for these next 30 days.